I'm not good enough, no matter what I do. I can't seem to make my partner happy. Are you struggling to feel adequate in your relationship, whether it's feeling disconnected or constantly second guessing your decisions? You are not alone. It's a feeling many of us face. Today, we'll explore why this happens and unveil some truths that might surprise you, but especially a key insight I will share at the end of this video. Welcome to another session of Couch Psychology, Life and Love Explained. I'm here today to tackle a topic that resonates deeply with many of us. Today, we're talking about the uncomfortable feeling of being a failure in our relationships. It's a harsh word, failure, isn't it? But it's how many of us feel when things aren't going right between us and our partners. Relationships are meant to be sources of love, support and happiness. But what happens when instead of feeling uplifted, you feel like you're constantly lagging behind? Maybe you're not living up to your own expectations or those of your partner, or perhaps you're struggling to meet the demands of a partnership alongside personal and professional commitments. In our time together today, we'll unpack why these feelings emerge and how they affect our sense of self and adversely our romantic engagements. We'll explore various aspects such as emotional needs, communication pitfalls, and the pressures of ideal relationships portrayed in the media. Understanding these dynamics is the first step towards turning feelings of inadequacy into opportunities for personal and relationship growth. Stay with me as we explore six surprising reasons why you might feel like a failure in your relationship and how to shift that mindset. Make sure you stick around because at the end of this session, I'll reveal an often overlooked factor that could transform the way you see yourself and your relationship. Okay, let's start with expectations versus reality. In a world dominated by social media and cinema, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our relationships to idealized versions we see on screen. We often witness perfectly choreographed dates, grand romantic gestures, and conflict resolutions that wrap up neatly within a two hour movie. In reality, relationships are messier. They involve miscommunication, mundane days, and real world problems that don't just disappear with a heartfelt apology or a bouquet of roses. For instance, imagine you and your partner trying to recreate a perfect date you saw in a film, but ending up feeling disconnected because the reality didn't meet your high expectations. This gap between expectation and reality can lead to feelings of failure. Psychologically, when our experiences don't align with our expectation, it creates cognitive dissonance, mental discomfort that can make us question our relationship's worth. Recognizing that real relationships require work, understanding and acceptance, not scripted perfection, can help bridge this gap and alleviate the pressure to perform. Let's look at another one here, communication breakdown. Effective communication is the cornerstone of any successful relationship. When communication falters, it often feels like we're failing in our relationship. Let's consider a common scenario. Your partner withdraws during a stressful week at work and rather than expressing how overwhelmed they feel, they become quieter. You might interpret their silence as indifference towards the relationship, triggering feelings of insecurity and failure. So here, the key is understanding each other's communication styles. Embracing the concept of your truth and my truth allows both partners to express their feelings without fear of judgment. 
bridging the gap between different communication needs. Open, honest dialogue can prevent the buildup of resentment and misunderstandings, fostering a healthier, more understanding relationship environment. So moving on, number three, emotional baggage. Many of us enter new relationships carrying the weight of unresolved emotional baggage from past experiences. This baggage can manifest as trust issues, fear of commitment, or even subconscious comparisons of your current partner with past ones. Perhaps you've experienced betrayal in a previous relationship and now find yourself constantly doubting your partner's loyalty, despite no evidence of wrongdoing. This scenario is far more common than you might think. The process of unpacking this emotional baggage involves recognizing these patterns and addressing them through self-reflection or therapy. It's about healing from past wounds and learning to trust again. Look, by confronting these issues, you can prevent past traumas from dictating your current relationship's dynamics, allowing you to engage more fully and authentically with your partner. So moving on to number four, neglecting self-care. It is often said that you cannot pour from an empty cup. In relationships, neglecting self-care can lead to resentment and feelings of inadequacy. Imagine you've given up your weekly painting sessions or, or evenings out with friends to spend more time with your partner. Over time, this loss of self can make you feel less like an individual and more like a mere extension of your relationship. Rebalancing, leaning into your personal interests and maintaining friendships outside your relationship is crucial. Engaging in activities that fulfill you independently of your partner not only boosts your self-esteem, but also enriches your relationship by bringing a more vibrant, fulfilled self to the partnership. So number five, mismanaged love languages. Understanding and addressing differences in love language is vital for relationship harmony. Suppose your primary love language is receiving gifts, but your partner expresses love through acts of service. You might feel unloved when your partner spends the weekend fixing things around the house instead of buying you a small gift or writing a heartfelt note. Learning to recognize and appreciate your partner's love language involves open, honest conversations and a willingness to adapt. Educating each other about what makes you feel loved and cherished creates a more supportive and empathetic relationship environment. This mutual understanding can significantly reduce feelings of failure and increase feelings of connection and appreciation. Finally, number six, external pressures and social comparison. The pressure to match societal standards or, or to emulate other couples' relationships can be overwhelming. It's easy to scroll through Instagram and see endless posts of perfect couples and feel like your relationship doesn't measure up. For example, seeing friends post about expensive vacations or romantic gestures can set an unrealistic benchmark for what your relationship should look like. Understanding that every relationship is unique and that comparisons only skew our perception of our own happiness is crucial. Discussing these pressures with your partners can help both of you set realistic expectations and goals for your relationship, separate from social influences. Recognizing the dangers of love bombing and focusing on what genuinely makes your relationship fulfilling can help mitigate feelings of inadequacy and foster genuine intimacy and contentment. So look, remember, Feeling like a failure in your relationship often stems from a complex mix of personal expectations, 
communication issues, and external influences. It's crucial to address these feelings head on, recognizing they are common and manageable with the right approach and understanding. Remember, growth in love is a journey, not a destination. But anyway, look, here is the crucial insight I promised earlier. The true measure of your relationship success is simply the growth it encourages in you and your partner, not perfection. So if you found today's discussion helpful, please like, subscribe and share this video with anyone who might benefit from it. Engage with us in the comments below to share your experiences and insights. What has helped you feel more successful in, in your relationship?